a new way to regenerate nerves after spinal cord injury. Paralyzed mice regained mobility. Spinal cord injuries usually lead to permanent disability. This happens because nerve fibers are damaged, which prevents the brain from sending signals to neurons below the site of injury. But new hope has just appeared for patients with these types of injuries. Scientists have developed a gene therapy that, as tests on mice have shown, stimulates nerve regrowth after spinal cord injuries and allows for recovery. Currently, spinal cord injury is a tragedy. The consequences are usually serious, from paresis of various body parts to complete paralysis. However, for those affected by such injuries, there is light at the end of the tunnel. New research suggests we may be able to regrow damaged nerves. Scientists from the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, the Polytechnic Federal Institute of Lausanne, EPFL, and Harvard University have found that regenerating nerve fibers where they naturally occur can lead to significant restoration of functionality. After spinal cord injury, at least this was what happened in the rodents on which the tests were conducted. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Science. Research aimed at regenerating spinal cord nerves has been carried out before. However, they lacked ultimate effectiveness. For example, in 2018, the results of analyzes were published that focused on tiny fibers called axons connecting nerve cells. They enable them to communicate with each other. Attempts were made to reproduce them in studies on rodents with spinal cord injuries. In fact, it was possible to regenerate axons in some places where they were damaged. But this did not result in the rodents regaining the ability to function normally. In the new publication, the authors noted that in the case of partial damage to the spinal cord, the initial paralysis is followed by a spontaneous recovery of motor functions. However, once the spinal cord is completely damaged, natural repair does not occur. Recovery from severe trauma requires strategies that promote nerve fiber regeneration. But the conditions necessary for these strategies to successfully restore motor function have remained elusive. It seems that a step in the right direction should be more targeted therapy. And scientists have recently started working on such therapy. Efforts should be made to ensure that axons are regenerated specifically in their natural areas. The assumption is that this approach should lead to a significant recovery of the ability to move. Research in this direction was first carried out in mice. They began by conducting genetic analyzes to identify those groups of nerve cells that spontaneously regenerate after partial damage to the spinal cord. In the meantime, what was expected was confirmed, 
axonal regeneration alone did not improve the patient's health. Regenerated axons also need appropriate guidance. Our observations not only revealed specific axons that need to regenerate, but also showed that these axons need to reconnect to their natural target sites to restore motor function, said Jordan Square, co-author of the paper. The place of regeneration is important so the approach changed. This time, chemical signals were used to delegate regenerating axons to their natural area in the lumbar spinal cord. And it turned out to be a hit. In a mouse model of complete spinal cord injury, there was an improvement in their ability to move. The researchers activated growth programs in identified mouse neurons to regenerate their nerve fibers. They increased levels of specific proteins to help neurons grow and also administered guidance molecules to attract regenerating nerve fibers to their natural areas. Our study provides key insights into the intricacies of axonal regeneration and the requirements for functional recovery after spinal cord injuries said Dr. Michael Sovroniev of UCLA, co-author of the new study. This highlights the need not only to regenerate axons within lesions, but also to actively guide them to reach their natural target areas, he added. This is important information for the world of science and medicine and may lead to significant progress in neurology. This will make it possible to develop therapies that in the future can be aimed at restoring normal neurological functions after various injuries. And many people are certainly waiting for such solutions. Moreover, the possibilities that this opens up for medicine are not limited only to this type of damage and can also be used in other fields. For example in the context of diseases of the central nervous system. However, applying this method to humans will pose some challenges. This will be a much more complicated process because, compared to mice, the distance involved in regenerating axons will be much greater. It will therefore be necessary to develop appropriate strategies for this purpose.